How's that? Go! Yes. See, si, senor. Okay, then. Right. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. You don't believe a black man? Yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Yes, Captain. Weenie pants. Oh, you were quick. Holy hell. You know exactly Let's what to do. Let's have a look. Is. Yeah. You were ready. This is swollen to hell. To hell? That's very far. It hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. <laughs> I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Banana. I didn't. I didn't. Well, now's the time. Herschel? Whoa! It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. From the show? What? He looks completely different. How'd this happen? Is this like... Uh, this must be like ages before the accident. Uh, I don't remember. I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. It must be. I got too quick. What type of danger has the girl seen? Um... Plenty. The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. You House mean? is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Clem can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um... Looking Try. after her until we uh, find her parents. James Franco! Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. What? I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. <laughs> uh, your son your is right. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. This guy looks pissed off like James Franco as well. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Yeah. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores this as This thing means. doesn't give you enough time to Lee read those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. About time. Thanks. You took all that time to wrap it up. It's it hot or the swelling doesn't go down. You're probably dealing with an infection. God damn it, Herschel. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. My beard's be better than yours. Don't shoot me. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. Because I'm black. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Where it counts. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Bye. All oh, right then. Yeah, exactly. The hell's up his uh hole? Yeah. There's people up there. It smells like manure. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, all right then. Good night! What's with the music? I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, flashback. <laughs> what the hell? What did you do? God damn it. Hey, get up. Who the hell are you? What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. Look at that <gasps> mustache. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of the fence. There's a tractor daddy. and everything. 
We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Goodbye, Stash Man. That's my boy, Ken Jr. They call him Duck, though. D what? Uh, Duck? Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. Very no good. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you Mama? were on your way to Macon. Well, family's from there. Oh, my God! Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can that knock a couple looks like of heads the, together the if he has from, to. Uh, Cards Cali Dog. Sure. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Muriel. Clementine. She looks like Muriel from Cards of Cali Dog. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Muriel! Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and I'll yell at no me whenever I take a out. water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Track there. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. Track door. We can visit. Yeah, you better protect her. Don't get kidnapped. So my dog has to save you. Clementine's the dog. All right, where the hell are we going? Let's have a little chat. Hey there, girls. Heck. How was the city? What do you do? You two actually looked relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. So, you Idiot. Good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? What so, uh, the hell do you do? What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. University? We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Whoa, what the hell? You just freaked the hell out, woman. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. <laughs> How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. How many it's people fun. did you kill you by not helping them? More. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Mm. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? But those guns, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Bye, Muriel. Whoa! Let's have a talk with Ginny. Ginny, Ginny! Hey there, uh, Kenny. Ginny! How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Whoa. Christ. Watch your mouth, Chase. He's lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. What shit do you have? What the hell? Ah, uh, what's your plan? Need you want any help? help Bray? Bray? No, I think I got it. Kyle, you want you some help? need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Um, no kids. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Yeah. 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 
So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. 